Pauline Hanson's timely payment policy. She wants to enforce stricter timelines on invoices, making sure that if you've done any business with a larger corporation, you are paid when you should be paid. She joins me on the program right now. Pauline Hanson, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ollie. Well, you're hoping that small businesses are going to love One Nation with this policy. Well, they should because, you know, it's been in the making for a long time and I think that people have been crying out for this small business. This is about making sure that small businesses get their money. Okay. How can you enforce that uh, big corporations pay small businesses so they're not out of pocket? The biggest problem with small business is that they're not getting paid on time. So a lot of the big businesses, if you look at the multinationals and you're looking at the top 100 companies on the stock exchange, they're withholding monies from small business. And that's around about usually about 120 days, even up to 120 days. So 90 days, 120 days. What we're saying under our policy here is that businesses must be paid in 30 days of the end of the month upon them receiving their invoice. Also, if they don't pay, these companies don't pay, therefore they will actually have to pay the businesses an 8% levy as interest Mm -hmm. plus the Reserve Bank interest rate charge as well. But we also want to set up a registrar so that the performance of these businesses, so that they say, okay, this is their performance base and paying their their debtors um, or their creditors how much money they owe them. So... Then people can look at it and say, oh, okay, these companies do pay their debts or they don't. We find that there's 2 million small businesses out there and it's affecting construction workers, tradies and and people who are struggling. And what's happening to small businesses, this is the reason why a lot of them have gone under. And I'm really pleased to see that Kate Carnell, the small business ombudsman, has come out and welcomed this policy and has congratulated One Nation on this policy. All right. So 2 million small businesses, as you say, operating. And we know how difficult it is to try and encourage our banks to lend us a little bit more money. So they're tightening the screws on the small business owners. Therefore, if the corporations are trying to take advantage of some of these smaller businesses by paying them overdue dates and withholding money that they're owed for the jobs that they've done, they're making, as you say, life for small business tough and some are going out of business altogether. That's correct. They are shutting down because they can't cope with the overdraft, the cost of it, and some are paying up to 18% interest on the overdrafts. Then they can't pay the workers. Look, and this is why I think one of the reasons why we haven't seen wage increases in in Australia at all, because small businesses can't afford it. And a lot of the the owners are actually working the hours themselves because they're not they don't have the cash flow coming into the businesses because it's not being paid. No one has bothered to really deal with this and force these companies to pay the small businesses this money and give them the cash flow that they need to remain floating. So you're putting the big corporations on notice. If they don't disclose their terms and conditions, whether or not they've paid their bills, then basically they could be named and shamed. Exactly right, and that's what I want. Okay, I can understand how it works for government contracts, but in the private sector, how does uh, federal government, particularly these could be state-based companies, how does the federal government and, and or the state government work together to administer a policy like this if it is to be introduced and have the support of either of the major parties? Um, the government has now brought in, so they believe that their contractors should be paid within 20 days. Why does the public sector have to put up with not getting paid by their debtors? Sure. If you don't get support in the parliament, are you going to take this to the election, Pauline? Yes, I will. I think it's very important because small business, we've got them folding up. They can't cope with it. They're going under. They don't have the cash flow. And we know about it because this has been spoken about on the floor of parliament, yet no one's done anything about it. Not the Liberal Party, not the Labor, not the Nationals, no one. And I think I have to bring this to a head and I have to push the issue because if we don't start supporting small business who employ 85% of the workers in Australia, we're going to go under. Now, these are small businesses. They're struggling as it is in today's climate Mm. and they need all the help that they can possibly get. I think it's going to be very, very welcomed, my policy, and uh, I'll be out there fighting for small business. All right, we'll throw open the... I come come from a small business background myself, you know. I understand.
understand. You have to work the long hours. A lot of small business people are taking let home less a week than what their workers are, and they're doing it tough. They've taken the risk, and I don't believe it's fair on them. It's up to us as legislators in this nation to ensure that they're getting a fair go. All right, we'll f- open up the phone lines now and get to immediate feedback from the Perth Live audience. Pauline Hanson, thank you so much. Thank you very much, Ali. One Nation leader there, Pauline Hanson, the timely payment policy. After your feedback on this, 922 Perth Live at 6pr.com.au. Pauline Hanson says she's out there fighting on behalf of small business. She wants to make sure that you're paid within 30 days for the work that you do. She's sick and tired of the bigger corporations taking advantage of mum and dad's small business. If it falls into your category... You might work in small business. Do you support Pauline Hanson's proposal? Do you think it might be adopted by one of the major parties? Or is this a bit of pie in the sky? It won't actually change the rules.